Sean Connery James Bond, the man that started a franchise of badassery. Daniel Craig James Bond, the ruthless assassin that doesn't always seem to be one of the good guys. Who is deadliest? To find out, our world-class fighters are testing history's most lethal weapons. Fire! Using 21st century science, we'll see what happens when the two warriors go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. No rules, no safety, no mercy. It's a duel to the death to decide who is the deadliest warrior. At the fictional fight club, we've gathered scientists, doctors, and our experts to answer this question. Which James Bond is deadlier, Sean Connery or Daniel Craig? Chief researcher and simulations programmer Clovis Deschel. Well, since I know nothing about these two characters, I can't make any prediction on who has the edge. Medical consultant and prospective marine, Jason Bassalone. Based on the fact that he brings modern weapons to the fight, my vote goes with Craig. Chief tactician and test coordinator, Bruce Octavius. Well, based solely on the fact that Daniel Craig is bringing the modern firearms to this, my vote's going with Craig. Sean Connery started it all by becoming Bond in 1962's Doctor No. He served on Her Majesty's service through six films and spared no expense along the way. Daniel Craig rolled onto the scene with Casino Royale in 2006, ruthlessly performing his task to effect. Our battle of the Bonds begins with the suitcase knife, the last surprise of many men's lives. Okay, um, this is a suitcase. We're here for kills, not concussions. Whoa! Whoa. Alright, when you're ready, show us what you can do. <laughs> okay, this is not a kill. Probably by itself a collapsed lung, but it's not a kill. The knife can also be thrown. Alright, Sean, go. On three, two, one. Yeah! Whoa. Baby. Yeah! Damn. Let's go see this, Doc. Oh, yeah. Instant death. Right in that heart. Heart shot. He's dead. Our experts must head to the shooting range to test this weapon. The exploding keychain. A nasty surprise packed in a harmless object. Alright, we're expecting a shockwave from this, so let's head to the blast wall. in that blast radius, they're dead. So which special weapon gets the edge? The keychain has to be by far the better weapon. No contest. Edge, Daniel Craig James Bond with the exploding keychain. Coming up, the Bonds test their long-range weapons when Deadliest Fictional Warrior returns. Baby! If we had to rearrange letters of the alphabet, I put you and I together. The serial killer look, available at all major fashion retailers this fall. At the fictional Fight Club, we've brought Sean Connery and Daniel Craig to test their weapons to see who would win this battle of the Bonds. At long range, Sean Connery brings to bear the AR-7, death at 150 yards. How many shots? Alright, 
Let's go do some shooting. All right, Sean, fire when ready. Daniel Craig James Bond is not impressed. The UMP-45, a fully automatic submachine gun that sprays death. UMP-45 caliber, 100 yard range. It's not as far as Sean Connery James Bond's weapon though. To be honest, I'm a bit worried for you. Let's go see if some shooting. All right, Daniel, let's see some shooting. shots where they needed to go, the 45 slug will do the trick. Which of these long-range firearms gets the edge? Our experts discuss the results. Okay guys, which long-range weapon do you think gets the edge? I'm going with the AR-7. Longer range, and that's pretty much it. It's not too much of a longer range, but I think that longer range will be enough for Sean Connery James Bond to get the advantage. Well, See, and what I found is that although it has a longer range, that's irrelevant because what's the the key point is that it's more accurate. You can there's a zoom and you can target your. It's longer range and it's more accurate. Let's put it that way. I have to go with the UMP though, because while I'll give you the benefit of doubt for the sniper rifle, the UMP who have more rounds. And the problem is, how many shots does the sniper rifle have? Eight. Eight. It's an AR-7, my friend. You have to be dead accurate so that you miss those all eight rounds, you're going to be in the If he misses, eight. Daniel Craig, James Bond probably is going to get in range and use that greater round, greater firepower to affect. But I still have to give it to Daniel Craig, James Bond, based solely on the fact of longer range and greater accuracy. I'm still going with the UMP. AR-7. At long range, Sean Connery James Bond gets the edge with the AR-7. After the break, our warriors return to test their mid-range weapons to see who is deadliest. Fictional Fight Club. Our experts now prepare to test our warrior's mid-range weapons. Sean Connery James Bond strikes with the Walther PPK, James Bond's iconic sidearm. What's his pegs on this weapon?
Well, we have our target set up. Fire away. Well, I'm impressed that you shot like that with this wind, but the problem is I'm a bit worried about the stopping power on this weapon. However, if you can get a grouping like this, it's probably a kill. Daniel Craig believes he has a better gun. The Walther P99, James Bond's new weapon of choice. Prove it. Wow, another nice grouping of shots. Nice work. So, which pistol is deadlier? Bigger magazine, P99. Longer range, P99. Greater stopping power, P99. Edge, P99. Daniel Craig James Bond gets the edge at mid-range weapons with the Walther P99. Coming up, our warriors test their short-range weapons when deadliest fictional warrior returns. Park rangers in Africa try relocating a leopard back into the wild, but it won't budge. Rule number one, never poke an angry wildcat with a stick. Again, the ranger panics and the window sticks. Now it's the leopard's turn to do the poking. The ranger's pretty beat up, but he's lucky. At the fictional fight club, our experts are inching closer to discovering who is deadliest. Sean Connery James Bond or Daniel Craig James Bond. At short range, Sean Connery uses the cigarette rocket, a lethal weapon that adds new meaning to the term concealability. I gotta admit, I've been waiting to see what this one's gonna do all day. I can't wait to see what it's gonna do at the range. Okay, Sean, whenever you're ready. anymore. He's gone. Alright, Daniel Craig, James Bond. How do you intend to answer this? The nail gun. A simple power tool of death. Alright, Daniel. Go for it. Show us the money. 